Okay, well, that sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. All right, round two. Uh, this is a piece of English walnut that has been grafted to a black walnut, so there's a little bit of uh, color in it. Um, it should be really cool. But uh, we'll see. We'll get into it and uh, we'll try turning this one. We'll see what happens. All right, so this thing came out really cool. Um, I really like the colors in this. I can't wait to put some finish on it. But uh, if you look at this site here, there's a lot of little pukas and uh, wormholes that were in the wood. Um, and typically I leave this kind of stuff because I like the character. But on this piece, it just doesn't seem to flow properly with what I've got going on. And so um, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but one of the ideas that I have is uh, to cover this these these up with a um, with a patina on some silver and copper leafing that will then carry into some of the silver and copper leafing that I'm going to put around the rim. So I've got this all masked off. Uh, you can see this is the area that I want to have, uh, that I'm going to have covered. It's going to spiral down to the bottom. There's going to be a mount, uh, the wood, there's going to be a wood piece that kind of sits down like this and kind of has a base and come up and there'll be a couple pins that'll be right here. And then it's going to have a really cool top on it. So I think this is going to look really nice. You'll have this kind of this flow down to the tip and then you'll see all this wood. So yeah, we'll see. All right, so the next step on this is to do the leafing. And uh, I'm gonna wear gloves for this process because I don't want my oils, uh, I don't want the oils for my fingers to get onto the, uh, to the metal leafing because it'll prevent the next step, which is to patina. So I've got all the leafing uh, where I want it. 
on the top here. Um, so the next step is I'm gonna hit it with, I'm just gonna spray it uh, lightly, just mist it with a mixture of liver and sulfur and warm water. And what that will do is it'll put a nice patina on this, uh, on all this leafing and it'll start to change colors. You'll get some reds and browns and blacks and uh, you know, really cool colors. So anyway, uh, you'll see that process right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna brush this a little bit just to kind of even out that sulfur. Now you're starting to really see it change. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. This is the dry rag first. And then I'll hit it with a damp rag. So that's wiped down. It's gonna to continue to do its thing. Um, it's, it is gonna get some more color to it and change, but this is basically what, I'm, what I was going for. Now I'll take all the covering off so you guys can see what it's gonna look like without the uh, masking. liking how this is coming out uh, this nice little flow right here into the lid or into the top got the nice little ring around the top there and it flows all the way down to the tip and uh, so how about that color for you Isn't that cool
this on camera. I had put the little ball in and I was trying to clean it up and I accidentally gouged the wood. So I've got to clean this all back up. Hopefully I can save it and not have to make another, a whole new one. So we'll see. Okay, so we are coming to an end on this project. Uh, there's a couple things I don't want to address before we put finish on it. And uh, one of those things is up here in the lid, there's a couple of imperfections uh, in the uh, top of this. So I want to go ahead and carry this uh, copper and silver leafing out up over the lid and, and in. And I think uh, doing that will cover up some of those imperfections and it also look really good. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is finish up the pins on the side, uh, make sure that they flush out and then uh, polish them out. And then um, later on, and when I get there, I'll show you what I'm talking about, but I might do a little something special on the bottom. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so what I'm doing here is uh, I've decided I want to uh, laser etch in the bottom of the urn uh, in loving memory of Charles Schlieve. And uh, this is something I didn't think about doing until later. And so I should have done this right after I had turned the base out, but um, you know, but late is better than never. So anyway, I figured out how to flip this thing upside down and mount it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and inscribe on the bottom. <laughs> 